Hey guys, welcome. Hi, I am Patty with Chalk Time Chalker. I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Um, today we are going to work on doing a pillow. I had posted originally in the comment, ink and pillows don't mix, but they really do. Look at this gorgeous pillow. This is what we're going to make. Um, this is done in with our ink, Midnight Sky, and the pillow is, is the white. I've done it a couple other ways um, with different using different transfers. So this is our storm color gray with the home transfer. It's just too, too cute. Anyhow, for those of you who don't know about Chalk Couture, um, this company sells transfers, surfaces, accessories, pastes, inks. Um, most of you know. If you use anything that gets wet, you want to make sure that you use our inks on it. So like your fabrics, um, glass, anything that would go in a dishwasher or washing machine or that you would actually squirt off that would get wet. So you want to make sure that you do the inks. As far as the paste, it can go on just about any surface, any surface that you choose. Um, we've got wood, we've got metal, we've got aluminum. There's, it's just endless. It's endless. And the main thing is the chalkboard. So we have our own surfaces with the chalkboards and you're able to use them. Sorry, I'm trying to get it up here so I can see the comments. Um, so you can use that on just about any surface. The inks have to be heat set. So you would heat set them with an iron or you would heat set them with a heat press or you can use a heat gun if it's glass. Um, just make sure you check out the directions for the ink. The paste does not need to be heat set, but warning, if you squirt it with water, like on our chalkboard surfaces, it will wipe off. So hi, whoever just come in, go ahead and, and post your name or post hello. Hey Libby, how are you? Good to see you. Um, okay, the transfers that we're going to use. We're going to use Char uh, Charity Never Faileth. And this transfer comes in. There's two different transfers in this package that comes together, and I just cut them apart. I've got the Charity Never Faileth, and then Blessed Are the Peacemakers. So I'm going to do probably a couple pillows out of that one, too. Probably, I may use the buffalo plaid. I am learning how to divide it up um, because this is the other transfer, the modern floral. This is a whole transfer, and as you notice on the pillow, there's the white spot in between. So I'm gonna show you how to do that effect. Really, really simple. All right, let me pull this transfer. We're gonna get this out of our way. And because we're working on a, it is a beautiful day, Libby. Because we're working on material, I don't need to fuzz my transfers. I want them to get a good tight seal on the material. So I will not be fuzzing my transfers. Those of you who have tended any of the other lives, fuzzing is a way of you take your transfer off and you put it on a fuzzing cloth or a towel. And it takes away some of the sticky. Hey, whoever just come in, make sure you say hi. Hit the share button if you will. Um, it takes away some of the sticky, some of the grip from it. So when you put it on your aluminum or on your glass, you really want to fuzz it good when you're working with glass. But when you put it on anything else, it doesn't adhere so tight that you're going to stretch your transfer when you pull it up. All right, we're, I'm sure there's going to be some, hey, Lindsay, there's going to be some new people that watch this in the replay, I'm sure. These are not just... Um, they're not stencils. A lot of people say stencils. Stencils are where you can put your finger through where the white part is. These are actual silk screen. So they have a screen in them. There is a barrier in between the blue and the white, which is a screen. Very, very fine detailed screen. Set these over here until I get my... This is our ink mat. We have two ink mats. This one is really, really good for the pillow. 
and then we have a longer, narrower one that has our logo all the way across it, which are cut lines. You could use it for a cut line. So that's if you do baby onesies, t-shirts, anything that you need the smaller board for. You really probably don't want to cut this. It fits. This fits in larger shirts. Fits perfect in the pillows. Now I am working with, I think this is a 20 by 20 pillow, and I believe this is an 18 by 18 mat. So I have to get this in here and kind of position it so I know it's even. It's going to leave a little lip around the edges. Hey, whoever comes in, make sure you say hello. I'd like to welcome you. This mat is sticky. So when I put it in here and I press my, my um, pillowcase down, it's going to stick to it, which gives it better grip when I go to pull it across. So what you could do is you just roll it. You're going to roll it, stick it in there, and it's going to take me a minute or two to get it positioned right because the problem is it is sticky. So if it starts sticking down, then I've got to peel it up and try to actually, it looks like it's going pretty good. And it looks like it's pretty even too. Hey. Okay, so I got it down. And now what I want to do is I just want to press it down against that. So it's now stuck to that board, which is what we want. We don't want it to pull when I'm when I'm pulling with the squeegee while I'm pulling the ink. Okay, so just make sure it's stuck good. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Wendy, you're going to love this pillow. Make sure you guys are sharing. Hit the share button. Let your friends know what you're up to. Make them jealous that you're in here and they're not. All right, so it's pretty good. It's it's stuck to the inside. That mat's not going to move in there, and that's what I want. Now, there's a couple instances where when I was messing with it, I had ink on my hands. I ended up getting ink on the pillowcase. Um, you just have to be very, very careful. And before you reach down and peel anything off of here, make sure your hands are clean. I've got a clean a uh, bucket of water over here. I've got my water spray and I've got just a pan to lay the transfer in for the simple fact if the ink sits on the transfer, ink is harder to get out of the transfer than the paste. Paste is water soluble, so it can sit on there until I have the time to go and wash it off. Ink is totally opposite. I need to clean it off. Okay, so we're good. All right, this is the trick, guys. This is it. My other piece, sorry. Oh, it's down there. Blaze has it. Blazy has it. Okay, so I know I want my pillow, I want my um I want my pattern to be centered on the mat. Because if I go off the mat when I go to ink it, it's gonna go through to the other side. That's what the mat's for. It holds it in place and stops it from seeping through to this other side. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. And these are big. Big transfers are a little difficult to deal with sometimes. Just take your time with them. If it so happens that you get a big transfer and it gets stuck to itself, do not pull it apart. Take it over into your bathtub, run it under water, and just gently start peeling the piece apart that got stuck. The last thing you want it to do is if it folds on you is to start ripping that screen. You've ruined your transfer if you do that. So be very, very careful. Okay, so in order to get the stripe across the middle, you can take tape. That's going to ruin my transfer. I don't want to ruin my transfer. What do transfers stick to? They stick to the backer paper, right? This is the transfer I want to put on it, so it's the right size. So what I do is I'm going to take my transfer, put it over here on the, the um, paper that the other transfer came on, so I'm just going to stick it to that for now on the, on the shiny side, okay, and just lay it out of the way. Sorry, I don't have a whole lot of table space, so I have to kind of work behind me. I'm going to take the shiny side. You've got a paper side and a shiny side. I'm going to take the shiny side and position it on this transfer. So I'm kind of going to eyeball where I think is the middle and try to see if I can get it totally straight and then press it down shiny side down guys not the paper you put the paper side down it's probably not going to come off your transfer 
And if you can see, it just peels back when I need it to peel back. Now, you're going to say, well, when you flip it over and you put the ink on, the ink's going to get on that shiny side. It wipes right off. It wipes off. So you can do this with any of the backer paper. So if you wanted just a little square, say you wanted to put a square in the middle that said hello, and you still wanted to carry on this pattern. So you would get, and I buy, we have packets of this paper that come in the eight and a half by 11. So you could buy a packet, there's 10 in a pack, and you can buy them and cut them in shapes if you want. You could put a shape in the middle. I mean, it's endless. Doing this is endless. Hey, whoever come in, make sure you say hello. I'd like to welcome you. Um, and please hit the share. If you guys understand what, I, what I'm doing, um, well, I was gonna say let's give it some hearts, but I'm seeing them fly. I'm seeing them fly. That's all you're gonna do, guys. That will get me my crisp center, because if you can see this pillow, I meant the lines are just really, really crisp, okay? Knocking things over. All right, so the next thing when working with ink, mm -hmm. you have to have a good seal. If you don't get a good seal, it will just bleed right through. So if I didn't seal this, it would bleed right up through there. And that's not what you want. Even though this pattern is a little bit busy and I don't think you'll notice it. I think on the gray, you know, on the gray up in here, I had a little bleeding. It's not as detailed. See the lines in that? There's no lines in that. So I had a little bit of bleed. It's a learning process. Um, most definitely it's a learning process. So I have a lot of people that say, yeah, I'm not so sure about ink. I do tell you when you're doing it, please, please, please be sure you cover your clothes that you're in. The ink is not going to come out. All right, so now that I got it down, I want to take my big squeegee, and this is very firm. It's a very firm squeegee. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? And I just want to pull. Now, you're going to see where it buckles. Don't, don't let it buckle on you, so kind of gently pick up and... and pull it back down. See, I've got that buckle. And you, you just take the time. If you take the time, this is going to turn out beautifully. The prep is the, the prep is the longest part and probably the hardest and the one that makes you the most nervous. But once you get through it, I'm telling you, it's, it's just amazing. Okay. And most of you guys that follow me, know that I always stick something up underneath the corners. Because of my fingernails, I can't always lift the transfer up. So I try to keep something to help me pull. I think we're ready, we're ready. Midnight Sky is what I used on this pillow. And the reason I'm doing that is because I had someone see the pillow that I posted and they wanted to. So this is actually, if it turns out perfect, it will probably be you know part of their collection. Our inks, unlike our paste, they don't get crisp around the edges. They're almost the same texture. The black is a little bit more runny than most of our other inks. So you want to be really careful if you're going to ink with black. Another thing, the difference with the ink and the paste. Inks go a long way, a little bit, because it soaks into the material. You don't keep going over it. So you want to splotch it on here, and you want to spread it on. You don't want to keep going over and over and over it like you do with the paste. It takes longer to dry as well. So, you know, this is one that you don't really need to rush with, which makes it perfect for material. All right, who's ready to see? Let's see some thumbs up. Who's ready to see this baby go on here? No thumbs up? I'll wait until I get some. All right, guys. Um, I've also found with the inks, the firmer your squeegee is, the better it goes on. We have our, our regular squeegees, which are real flimsy. And I've used those. It just doesn't seem to pull the ink as well as the firm ones. So I suggest if you're going to do the ink, and the inks on shirts, inks on aprons, inks on any fabrics. So make sure that you get one of the, the solid squeegees. So this is our angle. And then this one, if you're going to be doing big transfers. Oh, I'm loving the hearts. I'm loving it, guys. All right. Well, we're going to do this. Let's make it happen. Let's make good things happen. 
So I'm just going to, and it tells you to put this on the blue, but you see how busy this transfer is? There is no just blue. You know, if I had a transfer that had more just blue at the top, I'd probably just set it up on the top. Be very careful. If you go off this transfer when you're doing it, you are not getting that ink back off the pillowcase. You're going to have to put a flower on it or something. All right, so I'm just going to take the part of my squeegee, and I'm going to start working the ink. So start working it. And I work it right down to where that paper is. I can see that paper and I'm working it right over top of it. I am not going to be careful. It will come off that paper and I'm good with it. This stuff is just amazing, guys. It's just amazing. And you know what's fun about the ink is you don't have to do the peel back technique. You just keep spreading it. And it won't dry on you as long as you, uh, I mean, you don't have to move real quick, but you're not going to leave it sit for hours. Another technique or another hint they say is when you're working with the inks, try to go in one direction if at all possible. Now, up at the top, I'm going this way because I definitely don't want to get it on the outside of my pillow. And I can't see it at the angle that it's at, and I don't want to be in your view. And I'll probably do the same thing over here on this side when I get to it. So I'm just pulling the ink and reclaiming it down in this area. Just pull it down. Okay, and then I'm going to try to work this up here. All right, I think we, for the most part, got that. So then let me, I'm gonna claim some of my excess that I have up here without pulling the material. You don't wanna pull the material, guys. So just kind of gently scrape it and bring it down to where you need it. Almost went off the edge there. Yeah, I'm feeling a buckle over here. I'm hoping it's not, but you know, And I know a lot of you do the uh, the Hobby Lobby and the Michaels. And you know what? I don't know that there's much that I buy in any of those stores that's 100% perfect. So, I mean, if you get something and you make it, don't get rid of it because it's smudged a little. You know, don't don't think it's it's gone. It's a waste. You know, make something out of it. Or keep it for yourself. I meant that they're they're good reminders if you did something wrong or if you know what you did wrong. Or you can always give it as a present because nobody's going to say, what is that smudge there? You know? Yeah, ink goes on so smooth. It is so nice. Now, could I pick this up and use my bigger squeegee? Yes, I could. I could. I'm just trying to be a, trying to hope that it's going on right underneath this pillowcase. We sell the pillowcases. We sell cosmetic bags that you can ink on. We sell, um, what are the shoulder bags? We shall sell the shoulder bags and almost went off on that one. We, uh, we don't sell shirts, so if you want to do shirts, you can pick them up when they're on sale at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or AC Moore's. All right, guys. Try to reclaim some of my ink. I'm not pressing down hard because I don't want my material to move. I don't want it to buckle. So I'm just lightly scraping over what I have to try to reclaim some of my ink.
I think we're good. This is the hard part is getting it off without getting it all over yourself or all over. And see, I have ink on my finger. So keep water around to make sure that you can rinse your hands. Oh, Libby, yeah, you have to keep your boo-boos. You can't, you can't send them off to someone else. You know, and it just gives you a reminder of what to do next time or what not to do. Make sure your hands are good and clean, guys, before you reach over, because you're going to have to hold that pillowcase down. You have to hold it down as you're peeling this big transfer back, which is an issue sometimes. Okay, ready? How gorgeous is that? Look at that, guys. All right, and you see the paper on the back of this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow one side to fold over. Don't allow it to hook to each other. You don't want it to stick. And I'm gonna pull this paper off before I put it in the water. Okay, and then I'm gonna allow this to fold inside to inside, not sticky side to sticky side. And I'm gonna put it in the water right here until I can get to it because I wanna continue with you guys. So I'm gonna press it down to try to get it covered totally in this water. Hopefully you guys can see the pan. You don't want the ink settling inside that screen. Now I'm gonna rinse my hands off instead of running to the bathroom. I thought this way might be a little bit better. What do you guys think? Can you see it? I see a couple spots where it got a little deeper than the other one. It's not as crisp, but I don't think you're going to be able to tell. Can you guys see it? Keep that blue out because I'm going to use it, but let me hold it up for you. So what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna dry this for just a, a, a minute or two. Let me set this before I end up dropping. I'm gonna drop my um, dryer in the water. Set this over here. And I'll just wipe that. That'll wipe right off that paper because it's ink and it doesn't absorb into that. If you're using a heat gun, be very careful with the mat in between there. You don't wanna heat that mat up. The only thing I'm trying to do is rush the drying process so I can move on so you guys can see the rest of the, the pillow. Does it look crisp, Libby? I see a couple spots, but I'm right here in front of it. You know what I mean? I don't know that anybody would pick it apart as much as I would. Um, I can see where it's bleeding a little bit. And, and the reason that's happening is because I use too much ink. Oh, Wendy, I love the navy on these pillowcases. Now, somebody will ask, do I need to go to your website and order the pillowcases? There's a lot of places that sell pillowcases, guys. Um, our pillowcases fit the mat. Can you get them elsewhere? I'm sure you can. I just like the quality and the way that our, our, our inks go on our pillowcases. Will it be different with everything else? It may be, it may not be. I tell you what, it's warm up in here. Wendy, have you been on the site to look at all the color inks they have? I mean, they have gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I just ordered them. Um, I ordered eucalyptus. I can't wait for that to come in on a white pillowcase, the eucalyptus. I think when I first started, I got some of the, the main colors, like the greens, the navy, um, black, white, and I think I got a teal. I have a couple more colors coming in. All right, remember that one that I stuck over there on that big sheet? The charity never faileth. I'm going to go ahead, and because... That paper was the same size as my transfer. This should line up perfect. So there is no guessing on where it should go.
Now guys, you can use these transfers over and over and over again. Just know that sometimes when you use them on different items, it may not last as long as other items. Like if you use it on a rough wood, it may, um, I know Wendy, I'm gonna come. I am gonna come to Pennsylvania. I am, I promise. I keep trying to get with Chris, but you know, to her schedule and Uncle Eddie and stuff like that, so. This one here, I don't know if you can see it, but I did the sign up there on one of our, our boards, which is really neat. And I used the, um, the shimmer on that. It turned out really pretty. Go ahead and, and try to work out all your wrinkles and get this stuck down really, really good. All right, we're ready. So here is what, when I said, you just put it on the blue, you try to stay here because the longer it sits, like if I leave it on that screen, it just kind of like absorbs into the material and that's not what you want. You don't want it to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna put a generous amount out there. I'm gonna use the same look and I got the blue on my fingers. I'm gonna use the same squeegee. I'm just gonna grab the ink and pull it. The less you can mess with it when you do it, the crisper it's gonna be. So if I can go down this and get it one time, which I'm not, <laughs> um, it would stay cleaner because it's not. there's no chance of you getting the bubbles underneath, so. Feeling some, feeling some air bubbles that has me a little bit nervous, guys. Got me a little bit nervous. And be careful when you when you go to reclaim your ink, when you pick it up and you go over your project, because there was a time that I did something and I did that and it dripped right down on what I was working on. Not good. So you want to be really, really careful. All right, I think I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and take the corner, bring it to the end, and I'm pulling up. Again, I'm going to fold it to where I have the ink, and I'm going to put it in this other wash pan that I have over here. Well, you're going to do it sticky, non-sticky side to non-sticky side, and just let it sit in the water until you can get to it. You don't want to leave anything out of the water because you definitely don't want it to dry in your screen. All right, we did it, we did it. Let me show you all the finished product. And what I'll do is I'll just leave it sit and it'll dry. And then sometime tomorrow or over the weekend, I have a heat press, I'm gonna press it. If you don't have a heat press, not a big deal. You're gonna use um, like parchment paper and cover the, the cover it and then you're going to use a uh, medium temperature three minutes on one side turn it inside out three minutes on the other side just to get it set on both sides um, you can use the heat gun you could use the iron or you can use a heat press so you don't have to run out and buy a heat press you can just use an iron here you go guys Do you all see how quick that was? I can make two pillows for a wedding for, for somebody getting married. I can make two pillows for a birthday party. I, you do all this in under an hour. So somebody calls and says, hey, you got a party to go to this weekend, so-and-so's anniversary. You pull out your stuff. It takes you 20 minutes to make something cute, something unique, something that you know that they don't have because you made it. Anyhow, is there any questions? Do we got some questions? No questions. Wendy, that is what makes it original. When something when something like, because I, I can see a little spots where it's seeping. But it's, I mean, it's okay, because I don't know that anybody's going to look that close. Now, of course, the person that's buying this, I'll take a picture of it after I stuff it. This is the stuffing I got from Ikea, two pillows inside of here, because the pillow is so big. So I put two pillows to make it really, really full. So what I'll do is I'll wait. I'll go ahead and heat set both of these. This one's not heat set yet. 
I'll heat set both of those. I'll stuff it. I'll take pictures of them both together very close up. So that way they get an overview. And if they can see the bleed and they're not interested, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, if, if, if they're a perfectionist and this is not exactly how they want it, I'm okay with that. Um, I, I'll set it in one of the other stores or whatever. Bring it closer. I kind of, let me, the way that my camera is set up, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to be able to get much closer than that. I don't know if you can see it. Because my camera, I have that desk here, and my camera's over on that side. My dogs are down here, and if I walk out of the camera, I don't know that that's... Can you see it? I think it, I think it turned out really, really nice. I love it. Um, and, and you don't have to just use that one. Like I said, we have other transfers. We have the home transfer. We have... We have so many transfers that you could put on here. Hey, guys, I usually go live on Sunday. Um, it's Easter Sunday. I'm not going live. I may do a just jump on real quick on Saturday. But next week, I am getting a bunch of transfers from our um, from the new catalog that just come out. So I, I'm going to jump on and show you guys some of those transfers. Really cute. Did you see them, Wendy? We got Mom Boss and Dad Boss and... Oh, it's just going to be so neat. And um, we've got a lot of 4th of July stuff in, in some of that. So I picked up some of that stuff. Um, what else do I got? I think that's all I got for you guys. No questions? This went way quicker than I thought. I thought, oh, I've got to go live at 630 because it's just going to take forever. And it really didn't. It didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I love the, just how it's it's blocked off and you can, you know, what captures your eye. Anyhow, guys, thanks for joining me and look for me maybe on Saturday if you're not doing anything. Hopefully it'll just ping up and say that I'm live. If not, there's always a replay. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up and let me know that you like this project. In case you guys didn't know it, the more you hit those little things down there, the higher I go up within Facebook. So this video will be posted publicly the more interaction I get. So the more comments and anything. So anytime that you're on somebody's live, make sure you hit those little buttons. Make sure you comment. All right, guys, have a wonderful Thursday and a happy Easter if I don't see you all on Saturday.